right-hand side here, you'll see members. And this is where you'll see some of your members from your member directory. And if people want to see everyone in the community, they can simply click on member directory. And this is where there would be a list of all the different members. Up here is where you can add members and you have the option to either enter their emails manually or upload a CSV and you can also copy the invite link. So let's go ahead and invite someone. So now that I've invited someone, you can see by clicking the settings icon, you can see the status of the members and the role. So from here, you can change someone from member to admin or admin to member. And then if you click on this map icon, you can get an overview of where all your members are in the world. Members can also edit their profile and fill in their name, upload a profile picture, set their location, and set a bio. When someone clicks on a member profile, this is what they would see. And if someone wants to leave your community, they can simply click on these three dots here and select leave community and they always have the option to edit their profile. So let's say you want members to fill out more than just these three things. You can change this by going to settings and then going to onboarding and under member profiles, you can add additional questions. So once you fill these out and click save members profile, when a user signs up, they will be able to add more information to their profile. Again, once you have more members here, you can also connect your Slack community to match members to Slack members. And to do this, you would go to settings, integrations, and connect Slack here. Last note about members is if you have multiple members, you'll be able to message them. And that is where this chat icon comes into play. So that's a quick overview of how members work in Luma.